Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So in yesterday's Cardano catch-up, I talked about MinSwap and the potential front-running of trades with maybe a sandwich attack. We didn't fully know at that stage, but MinSwap have now come out with their incident report, talking about what the issue was and their solution for it. So we'll go through that here. If you missed yesterday's Cardano catch-up, it's where I summarized the Cardano ecosystem for the last week. I'll leave a link to that one down below as well. And this one shared out if you think others can benefit like comment subscribe if you're new i do appreciate it let's jump into it Okay, so this is the tweet that they put out about their incident report. We'll go into the report now in a second. Yesterday, for anyone who's seen the video, just to summarize for who didn't, basically there was a tweet put out that showed some potential front running going on where someone showed trades that they had put in and then a malicious actor putting in the exact same order but it getting executed before their order and then you see the follow-up trade is where the malicious order gets sold off. So basically, say I was putting in a trade so I want to buy at 0.5 ADA by any token. And then I go in and I look at it and the malicious actor sees my order. They're able to push in their order for 0.5 ADA. Because of slippage, I'm willing to accept a slightly higher price. So theirs gets executed at 0.5 ADA. That pushes the price up. So then I get 0.51 ADA as my price. They then come in and then they sell the order they bought at 0.5 ADA for 0.51 ADA. They've made a small profit on it. I've paid a slightly higher price. So there was different things going around yesterday wondering was this an insider at MinSwap or how this could happen because currently MinSwap run all of their own batchers. They're the only person who has access to it. So those different things going around but it looks like now with the solution or with the issue that they have identified that basically anyone that had some knowledge of the Cardano or a decent bit of knowledge on the Cardano blockchain to manipulate the TX hash that that could have done it because the attacker was able to do this by manipulating the order process of the orders that go into the decks. That'll all make sense now in a minute. So you can see here they have a bit of a summary, but we'll go into the incident report. So if you come in here, the too long to read, the MinSwap team was alerted to a sandwich attack being perpetrated by a malicious actor on the decks. This was in a tweet that went out and became fairly viral. The attack exploited the ordering process by the batching used by the decks. The appropriate safeguards have been put in place to refrain this attack from being perpetrated again. So when this came out first, uh, one of the comments I highlighted yesterday was Yarek said that what it looked like was the definition of a sandwich attack. In crypto terms and other chains, this has been referred to before as MEV or minor extractable value. We talked a bit about that yesterday. It was very common over on Ethereum as well. If we go down through this here, you can see the attack started on the 21st of November. They processed 880 trades for a total profit of 11,000 ADA. So that's a lot of trades for not a massive amount of profit for the work that would have had to go in to set this up in the beginning. But if they were allowed to continue this on over a longer period of time, then that profit definitely starts to add up. If we look at how a sandwich attack actually works, so you can see here when ordering transactions on the MinSwap DEX, the batcher software will select orders on a first in first out basis. So you might see this referred to as FIFO, first in first out, which is the way things should work. The first orders that come in are the first ones that get executed. So Batcher is run by trusted entities. Currently, this is only MinSwap Labs. Hopefully over time, we'll see this pushed out and others in the community can start to run these. But as was, this does also highlight the need for trusted entities to run these as well that they won't try and manipulate orders so orders were executed by the default ordering of ledger inputs so they done this based on the tx hash so you can see here they were ordered transactions by their tx hash in ascending order so this i'm not sure why by default it isn't done by time i know there's been lots of talk about time lately especially Yarek has talked a bit about it and Charles came out there is a new article out there as well on time but if we go down here a front runner could create a transaction to buy or sell an asset at a price that takes advantage of an existing transaction by simply composing a transaction with a smaller TX hash so what was happening was they were able to monitor I think it actually explains it here rather than me off the top of my head so you can see here they compose their own transaction to buy exactly the same amount. So this is the malicious actor. The attack would simply have to monitor Cardano's mempools, which are all public, public blockchain. Anyone can monitor. So they monitor looking for new orders coming in. This would have to be done by bots to get it in quick enough. So then 
the front runner creates their own transaction with a smaller TX hash. So this is what I was saying. If someone has a fairly decent knowledge of the chain and coding on chain, they would be able to do this as well. They talk a bit about it here, but I won't go into it in this. So they create their similar or same transaction for the same price with a lower TX hash based on the way that MinSwap were executing trades, then this meant that the one with the lower TX hash got executed first, which meant the price got pushed up slightly for the, we'll say the normal everyday user that was executing their trade. So they ended up paying a slightly higher price. The front runner was able to then come in after getting their order in first, they bought cheaper, then they sell when the second, the normal everyday user, their order pushed the price up, the front runner then came in and sold at that. And that's how they kept making small little profits every time. But as you've seen up above, they do add up over time. So then that's kind of what it's saying there that once the swap is complete, the front runner simply has to sell the asset back, earning a profit at the expense of the user. So the solution, they do say that the default setting on Cardano was to reorder based on TX hash. I'd say a lot of protocols will be taking note of this and making sure they don't do it that way going forward. But now they have changed it to chronological order of orders. This means no longer the TX hash or the TX ID that orders transactions. It will be done chronologically, which is the way it should be, which is true FIFO or FIFO, first in, first out. Hopefully this is something that other protocols can learn from as well. It's good to see that, I was gonna say it's caught early, I suppose it has been running for what, two, three weeks now at this stage. So that is a long enough time. Current market conditions, volumes are lower than they have been. So at least these things are caught at this stage rather than when we go into, I'll say when, some people say if, but I'll say when we go into a new bull cycle and there's a lot more volume going through. If these types of things were going on then, then unfortunately the front runners would be able to get a lot more out of it. Hopefully this has helped break it down for you watching as well. If you're new, do subscribe. Lots of Cardano content coming out here. Share this out if you think others can benefit. Comment questions or anything down below as well as give the video a like. I really do appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.